If you use a H22 pistons together with uh, F23 connecting rods and crank, <clears throat> that the piston will stick out about 20,000 on the uh, cylinder block. And that's what we're going to cover today. So what I have here, this is the connecting rods or F23, BAA. Quick tips, uh, as you saw earlier, I just disassembled my H22A4 that has a uh, F23 uh, internals on it. So today we're going to cover building a uh, G23 or a Frank motor that's uh, using F, uh, H22A4 or a F23 block using a F23A crank connecting rods and H22 pistons and if you have a K20 pistons that's even better because that's the one that we're after but anyway uh, for those uh, I, I just want to help out some of the beginners out there or that wanted to uh, get onto this uh, Frankenstein motor game it's almost like the same as the uh, K series where you have a K24 block and uh, K20 A2 uh, cylinder heads on them. And basically this is the same thing. It's just a... Uh, that idea was grandfather from the Honda's oldest big block, which is the H22. And uh, what I have in my hands is a regular H22. H22 piston. And as you can see, it's got a five... Just before you drop one of these onto the uh, cylinder block, just make sure you get everything, all your orientation as far as like the piston, the uh, connecting rods are all correct. And markings, the arrow markings will be pointing uh, towards the timing belt. And if you're using, this is only if you're using a uh, OEM parts, okay? The markings will be facing the uh, timing belt also and double check make sure that the uh, the groove for the uh, bearings will be on the exhaust side and the other half is the same thing and this has some markings on them just make sure uh, I don't know if you could see it set number two I usually when I dis disassemble this I usually mark them I just put, like give it a uh, like put a marking with a screwdriver or something or a, a scribe anyway so we'll just go ahead and uh, let me get my ring compressor Always give it a tap. Make sure that you all all is square. And if when you put it in, if it doesn't, uh, if you feel some binding, I mean stop. And meaning there's something's wrong. Usually it should go in easily. Okay. 
you probably can see it on the background as I still have the uh, the old squirters on them. Uh, that requires some uh, research and uh, development. I have chopped two of these on the previous build because uh, lack of uh, knowledge. So if you're thinking about using the uh, old squirters, um, don't just slap it on and bend it thinking that it's gonna it's gonna work out it's not there's more more to it than that and but if you go ahead and try it you'll find out oh another quick tips yeah uh, how I get away with this is uh, how I get away with using this uh, old squirters on them is uh, I grounded the crankshaft. I grounded it to the point where it, it's not gonna touch anything, and I send the crankshaft to uh, to the machine shop to get it balanced. I'm not gonna torque it precisely. I'm just gonna uh, hand tie them. There's no reason to, but because of a uh, you'll you'll see it when. Uh, Let me uh, rotate it around so I can tighten the other side. When I, uh, as soon as, uh, oh, uh, the, uh, for the, uh, my subscriber that's been waiting for my G23 uh, build and, uh, just to give you an update uh, for some of you that don't care anyway but uh, I just want to say that uh, the block is still in the machine shop it will take some six weeks to get it and uh, hopefully by the end of, uh, of May and I should get a phone call or I'll give them a call and to find out how's everything working out so here it is Rotate the uh, crank. All of a sudden, it's binding. Right there. Can you tell the difference? That, uh, uh, there's something sticking out. It's not really that much. But I made it sound probably uh, like it's bad, but like I, uh, I've been uh, telling some guys, some guys, some friends of mine that, oh, you know, you, you can build them, slap them together and put head gasket on there and you probably will not even uh, notice anything. But uh, for me, I just want to build it right. Everything is all aligned. Crankshaft uh, is on top dead center. Here it is. This is the H22 uh, A4 piston without modifying anything. So if you would have a Type S piston, of course the dome will sticks out farther. It's gonna go uh, sticks out more. But to give you an idea how much, and zero out. It rocks back and forth. Okay, because I only put one piston ring on them. But the idea here is, what I'm just sh uh, showing here is the piston top, the piston and the piston sticks out harder than the uh, cylinder block. And 40, this is not precise, okay? 35, this is just to tell you that, like I said, it sticks out compared to this one, compared to what I did on this uh, piston, which is I have shaved in it. It probably would not be as bad because uh, when you put the head gasket,
The head gasket is 25,000 uh, 25, after it's crushed and everything. So it's going to hide it. And I think a lot of people uh, have built this motor, the Frankenstein motor in the past. Well, they have been successful with it without any problem. But me, I'm just going to... I was under the uh, research and development at the time. That's why I just want to build it correctly where everything is all flush. What makes this thing sticks out farther is H22A4 has a different compression height than the F23. Compression height would be from the pin to the top of the piston. And H22 have a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 31 compared to F23 and K20. K F23 and K20 has the same compression height of uh, 30. So when you put up, you use up F23, uh, F23A piston, it'll sit lower. The only of course the problem is you would have a lower compression ratio which is eight something to one compared to uh, k20 where you have a lot of variety it'll bring you it'll bump your compression height but you will it, you will keep the uh, the piston where it's at on the uh, on the cylinder block so if you're running on a natural aspirated yeah it'll be good be okay and to take advantage of your uh, high compression make sure you use a, uh, a high lift camshaft at least a type s or a, that's up to you if you want people want to use a skunk 2 or blocks or obx you know best money can buy but make sure you do some clay you gotta clay your motor make sure you're not smacking the uh, your piston piston to valve clearances make sure you do that and that should be it Just make sure when you build one of these is uh, you put one piston at a time secure the pistons on one cylinder and then rotate the crankshaft that way you will know if something is binding you know you could act accordingly it's easier that way and you'll see it because uh, Remember, you, uh, you're building a Frankenstein motor. It's not designed as is. You're, you're, you're doing a research and development on your own. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that uh, my tips help you out a little. And uh, anyone that knows a little bit about uh, building uh, this motor, the Frankenstein motor, and uh, just drop a comment and uh, we'll help out uh, the community out there and hope to see you guys back on the next episode and again thank you very much for watching bye bye